so that they can view it later anytime they want. So here we go again. I just started that video. I've got to remember to do that each time. So the number one is about being aligned with the right pathway in life. Being aligned with the pathway that's right for this person. Okay, and so both of these cards represent the elements that are needed at this time for that to happen. So the one element is about air. Air is connected to the spirit. So it's air that the person needs at this time, which will feed their spirit, which allows them to discern truth. So the element of air and the characteristic of being upright which is also connected to the word honest. So this is about being upright and going out and actually getting fresh air. So those are the two elements that are necessary to be aligned with the right pathway at this time. So the number two is about being whole. It's about two things coming together to where they make each other whole. So it's like these two sets of parallel lines. Wherever this line is, this line is. And no matter how close they get together, they're still separate things, but they become whole. They make each other whole. So, the two elements that are necessary for this person is the color orange. Okay, orange is about, color is about seeing. It's about discernment. It's about how you see something. And orange is related to the element of life which is related to the soul. Okay, so this is about seeing and discerning the soul and the element of earth. So the element of earth is needed. So it's about going and partaking of the element of earth, spending time with the element of earth and the things that come up out of the earth, plants and so forth. So these are the two elements that are needed for this person to be whole at this time. The number three is about being sure. It's about confidence. It's about being sure in your life. So these two elements are the elements that are needed at this time for that to happen. So it's about the element of heart and the element or color black. So the color black is the sum total of all the other six colors because when you mix colors not light but colors and you mix them equally it makes black so this is about seeing everything it's about seeing the mind the body the spirit the emotions the heart and the soul of the person and the heart and this is connected to understanding in the heart. So that's what that's about. That's what's needed to be sure at this time. So the number four is about having a foundation for your life. And these are the elements that are related to having a foundation. It's about the spirit. And it's about attain. So, attain is related to the element of earth. It's about attaining the right things in life. And the spirit, our spirits are connected to the principle of truth. It's about discerning and seeing the truth. So, the spirit and attaining the right things so that you can prosper are connected in what's needed for a foundation. So the number five is about being centered. So being centered is about being connected to the voice of truth. It's the voice we all hear that never lies to us. The number five is in the center of the number line between one and nine. So it represents being centered. So being connected to the voice of truth is what centered is all about. And so... Both of these elements are the mind. So this is about the mind being centered in the element of the mind. So that's what that's about. The number six is about being correct and complete, having all the right pieces in all the right places in life. And so the, uh, the two elements that are needed are the element of truth, 
and the element of eternal. So, these are connected words in and of um, you know, themselves. They are connected words because truth is something that's eternal and unchangeable. Truth is about having knowledge of things that they are and as they were and as they are to come. And it's connected to this principle of eternal. And so that's the thing that's necessary at this time for this person to be correct and complete in their life. So the number seven is about triumphing. So at the moment of triumph, it brings peace. It's about accomplishment. At the moment of accomplishment, it brings rest. And so these two characteristics, these principles, are patience and virtue. Patience is connected to long-suffering. And virtue is connected to a pure heart. So these are the two elements, the characteristics that are necessary at this time for this person to triumph in life. So the number eight is about attaining what's right in life. Okay? So it's about having a foundation and being aligned. So a foundation is connected to water. It's connected to emotions. Because this is about having a foundation for something. So, it's connected to water and emotions because when the emotions and water has a solid foundation to rest upon, then the person attains what's needed. In the case of emotions, it's about peace. But as this connection here, being aligned is about being aligned with the right pathway. But this is connected to the mind. So this is about the mind being aligned with the right pathway and the emotions having a solid foundation. And this is what's needed for the person to attain what's right in their life. And so the number nine is about fulfillment, contentment in life. And so it's about being sure and it's about the emotions. So being sure is connected to the body. It's connected to the ability to prosper. So when that is sure, it's connected, in this case, it's about being connected to the emotions or being sure in your emotions or your emotions being sure. And what does that do? That allows fulfillment and contentment in their life at this time. So the zero is the center of the number line. It's the only, there's only one place that zero exists on the entire number line throughout all eternity. No matter how far you go, positive or negative, numbers come in sets of nine. And between nine and the next one, there is no zero, there is no even number. Zero exists in one place. And so this is the heart of the matter. Okay? And it, the zero is about enjoyment and satisfaction in life. And so this central point, the heart of the entire matter, is about being whole. Okay? And this is connected to the spirit. Okay? But this is about being whole in life. This is the heart of the matter for this entire um, reading at this time and this energy work at this time. Okay? And so that's the first layer or level to look upon look at all this at okay so now i'm going to see what was the most important element okay all right here we go i'm going to line all these up and see what was the most important because that paints another picture as to what's going on with the person and what they need and so the beauty of doing energy work isn't just about telling the person something that they may already know or something that they don't know, okay? Because these tools read what's going on in their energy, okay? So it's revelatory and it's affirming. But it's more than just that. It, this is about um, making a change in their energy, so that's where the word balance comes in. Because all of these points 
the way this tool works sends that energy through that point to make the change. And so that's how these tools work. So, as far as the elements go, the most important element is the element of air. And very specifically, it's about air, it's about the spirit, it's about truth, and it's about being whole. That's the most important element on those four points. Okay? So then when we get down here to the characteristics and attributes of what's going on, it's about this right here. The first step, being upright, connected to being honest, being virtuous, virtuous, connected to having a pure heart, patience, connected to long-suffering, and eternal, connected to unchangeable. And like I said, eternal is connected to truth. It's part of the definition of truth. Okay? And black represents an attribute. These are characteristics. These characteristics that a person, this person needs at this time will allow them to have this attribute, this ability. That's what attributes are. And it's about being able to see the way things really are in their mind, their body, their spirit, their emotions, the heart of them, and in their soul. That's what black is about. So that's the different ways of looking at this tool and reading this tool. And so the person um, that this work is done for uh, is aware of it. So I'm also going to send them the YouTube link so that they can, you know, review this reading anytime they want. And they can get back with me and let me know how they feel and, and the change that they've experienced. So that's how that tool works. So like I said... If anybody out there is interested in having this same experience, please get a hold of me and let me know. Thank you.